Okay. Hi, Mom Talk. Mom Talk Tulum Edition. So I've been in Tulum now for a week with my sister, and this trip was great for both of us to kind of work out the kinks on what works with traveling with a baby. So this is like a huge industry mystery, and it is annoying as a fuck because there's a ton of different carriers, there's a ton of different strollers. Everybody claims to be travel friendly. Most of them are bullshit. Um, you have to really check because for me, like I don't drive. So travel friendly for me means it needs to be able to be walkable. I need to be able to put it on my back. I need to be able to put it in a cab. I need to be able to put it on a bus, a train, a plane by myself. So sometimes, <laughs> Sometimes it says it's travel friendly and really what it is is it folds up into the trunk of a car. Okay, so my sister has a really epic stroller that's really good for traveling and she's going to demonstrate it while a baby cries in the background. So you can wear it on your back. It's not the most comfortable, but it will do. So then it will just like this. It takes a little bit to get used to. You pinch the hand. Put it together. Oh, and you just clip. like clip it or shake it or what? There's a clip, yeah. And then you just kind of like flip it around a little bit and it'll pop up. Has a nice cavity. It even reclines. There's like a it even has storage. Tether strap. It doesn't lay flat, but pretty good. Storage. There's a zipper pocket for any valuables or whatever you want zipped into the stroller. Mesh storage. And then when you take it on the plane, you just wear it as a backpack with the carrier? Yeah. Yeah, just like on your back and it fits in the overhead bin of the airport, airplane. Just how it folds up. Pinch at the handle. There's a red button hidden in the frame. You punch it in and there's a seat. And it says pull. Clips together, and there's a little clasp there. Does it automatically go the clasp, or do you have to do it? You sometimes have to like jimmy the, turn the wheels a bit around to kind right. of get it to meet. And then it just goes in the middle. This it takes a little bit of shifting around. Finagling? Like, yeah, but I came here by myself with a baby. I just had another ground in it. <laughs> And what did it cost in Canadian dollars? 300. Awesome. Not too bad. It's a good stroller. Yeah. And how does it drive, like in terms of? You can hold a drink in one hand. So it's drive a one hand driver. Yeah. <laughs> the front wheels also swivel or fix. They can be locked right. steady. So that you can have, swivel. so this, this steady is good for gravel, right? Yeah, gravel, uneven road, whatever. Perfect. Drives pretty good. This is my stroller. It is awful to fold up. It has a thing that kind of doesn't fold back. It has no storage. It costs me 50 Canadian dollars. It has a strap that's awful. But you know what? It did the job. For, yeah, it requires two hands for everything. <laughs> I don't even know how to do it. You have to pull towards you. Like pull it towards and up. Yeah, there you go. You can't put it, you can't close it in a, with a sandal on. There it is, and then it has a strap. <laughs> That's the old school way, people. This is the new school. 50 bucks, 300 bucks. After spending a week with her and her stroller, I'm gonna say it was $300 well spent. Uh, I think that baby jogger could totally replace one of those big honking strollers. Like, it was amazing. So, it looks like it's gonna be our next travel purchase. What I've learned is, number one, get a good carrier. I have two Ergos. Uh, the reason I have two is because I don't really use a stroller. I wear my baby all the time, so it was a good investment for me. I got the second one secondhand. You can get everything secondhand. You do not need to buy top dollar, ever. You do not need to. If you want to, if you, if you want to buy a brand new stroller, you can. 
but you don't need to. The original Ergo is like, it's a sweat sack in the heat. And that's fine if you're not living in the tropics. The 360 has a smaller range, so I think your kid can be like five to 25 pounds and like three to 45 pounds. But the great thing about the 360 is that it's lighter, it's thinner, it's better for the heat. You know, if you're in the real tropics, it's way too much. It's, I mean, I almost think that it's like a hazard to put that sunshade up over a child in the heat that we've been living in. So I have two. If you want to ride a bike, and air goes great. I mean, I don't know if it's legal to do it in most Western places because of, you know, the rules, because there's a lot of rules. Um, but I feel totally safe and comfortable with my daughter and an ergo on the front of my body biking, way more than I would with a bike seat. Um, the weight distributes really well. These strollers that they're making now, I mean, they've got like, they are good for generations. It's like buying a Louis Vuitton bag. You do not need a brand new one. No way, no how.